I have watched more cult documentaries that I care to count. And perhaps what I find most fascinating is the way that I feel when watching them. There's always this empathic part of me that can relate to the survivors and their stories. Even though my personal experiences in high-demand groups might pale in comparison, I feel a tremendous amount of compassion and empathy. To a point. Because there is also a self-righteous part of me that is working overtime to distance myself from their stories. It's as if I'm sitting on the edge of my seat, listening and waiting for that pivotal moment when I can finally exhale with relief and say, ha ha, yes, that, that is the red flag that I would have never missed. I would have left right then. What is wrong with these people? Now, I'm not proud of it, but this pretty much always shows up at some point when I'm watching. And it actually makes me wonder if the popularity of cult docs has something to do with the fact that we are all looking for such evidence to prove our immunity to such things. We watch and wait for that moment when we can say with absolute certainty, I would never be so naive as to fall for that. It's easy to think highly of ourselves and to imagine that we are too level-headed and street smart to ever get involved in things that are even a little cultish. But cult is the root of culture, and it is a common co-creative construct. In fact, it's a dynamic that doesn't always describe the group on the whole a pattern of behavior and response that naturally arises in lots of different types of interpersonal relationships, all resulting in the erosion of personal agency. 